grown-ups. We don't hit pinatas with sticks. We set them to explode with a timer. Explode? Oh, that's way cooler. That's right. And this guy is now set to shower us with candy at 6 p.m., the exact time we officially founded Tom and Ben Enterprises. And Ben should be here with the candy right about now. Ah! <gasps> Tom, the bathroom is disgusting! <sighs> Why didn't you clean it? Let's focus on what's important here, okay? Did you or did you not get the candy for the piñata? No, I did not! Really? What are you doing that's more important than getting candy? Yeah, Ben, what? Well, let's see. I was dusting the ceiling fan, mopping the floor, don't look at me like that! Now, please clean the bathroom. Relax. So the bathroom's not clean. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Guess who's back, baby? That's right! It's me! Jeremy the Jerem! <laughs> Parties are no fun if the surroundings aren't tidy. Hey, everyone! Ah, Jeremy! <laughs> Surprised to see your old pal. Well, yeah! Previously on Talking Tom and Friends, I always wanted to say that. The first time Jeremy showed up, we all thought he was friendly, but Ben didn't trust him. Turned out Ben was right. Pretty soon, Jeremy got everyone sick. That's what germs do. Luckily, Ben flushed him down the toilet and Jeremy was gone for good. Until just now, when he came back. And I updated you on who Jeremy is. And now back to talking Hank and friends. Oops, talking Tom and friends. Do you see what you've done, Tom? You see what happens when you don't clean the bathroom like you're supposed to? All right, Jeremy, you're going back to where you belong. No. The sewer. Wait, wait, I'm a change, Jeremy. While I was down in the sewer, I had a lot of time to work on myself. I even meditate now. You can't fool me. Germs like you don't change. Oh, but I have changed. I know it's going to take time for you to see it, Ben. Maybe we'll even work on some projects together real soon. Ah! <laughs> so disgusting. Ew, ew, ew. Uh, vitamin C, vitamin C. Yes, lemons. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God, I can already feel it. Burning my heart! I can't believe I was tricked by a single-celled organism. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to best pay you back. And I came up with a perfect plan. A plan that you're gonna help me carry out, friendo. Ha, that's never gonna happen. <coughs> oh, no. Get out of here, Jeremy. Tonight is our anniversary party. And you're not invited. Fine, I'll go. I was planning to leave anyway. What's that, Tommy? You ain't had nothing to eat in a real long time? Could one of you kindly point me in the direction of a hot meal? Preferably in a well-populated restaurant? Lucky you! The diner is just around the corner. Hank! Hank. What? Say, thanks, pal. See you later, incubator. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have some of my aunt's famous soup. Oh, uh, your aunt, the chili pepper farmer? No, thank you. Oh, no, you guys, my grandmother was the chili pepper farmer. This is my aunt's soup recipe. It cures everything. you! Ah, I am so sick of sneezing, you! <sighs> At least I have a super soft triple layer tissues with a calming lavender scent. Ben, I admire you. You always find something positive in a bad situation. Positive? This is all your fault. I'm only sick because you didn't clean the bathroom. I didn't clean the bathroom. You didn't get the pinata candy. We're even, so let's stop playing the blame game. You're right, Tom. Now I have something I need to say to you. Come closer. What is it, pal? Yeah. What'd you do that for? I don't know. That's something. Something Jeremy would do. Yeah, you know, that is exactly what Jeremy would do. Oh, that's exactly what Jeremy would do. I didn't want to. 
but it, it was like I had no control over myself. Cobb gets a rope. We have to tie Bed to that couch. You tie him to the couch. He just sneezed on me. On purpose. I'm not going near him. There's a reason he did that. Jeremy didn't just get Bed sick. He reprogrammed Bed to spread his germs. This is exactly what happened in my favorite pandemic thriller, Outbreak Biohazard, Code Deadly. First, people get sick. Then, the change begins. They lose control of their own minds and bodies. All right, who steal my tube sock? Just the left one, the right one right here. <laughs> Once the germs take hold, the people are consumed with the overwhelming drive to infect everyone they see until there's no one healthy left. Hey, keep away. That sounds horrible. We have to make sure that nothing like that no, ever happens. No, hey. Not on our watch. Hey. Right. So basically, it's super important that we keep an eye on Ben and never let him out of our sight, not even for a second. We won't let that happen. I'll go get the rope, and you help the landlord with whatever he was... <gasps> uh, Hank, what was the next thing that happened in that movie? You don't even want to know. Question, why didn't I get sick when Ben sneezed on me? We must be immune. Maybe when Jeremy got us sick last time, it gave our bodies the power to fight off his germs. If that's true, then we are the only ones who can save Ben and the entire town from infection. Let's go. Super soft, triple layer, made with more than 50% recycled materials tissues. <laughs> Lavender scented. Bed's been here. Ew! Hank, put that huh? down. And there's more. They're leading to the diner. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, can I get a chocolate shake while we fight the zombies? <laughs> yeah, even Rhonda's not that rude. <gasps> She must be a zombie. Uh-oh, we're surrounded, just like an outbreak biohazard. If you knew this would happen, why didn't you warn us? Well, Noah was warned in the movie. <gasps> There's Ben! Hank, fill us in. What's our next move? Now, a worried planet waits for a ragtag group of friends to find a cure. My aunt's too! Well, in the movie, the cure involved looking into microscopes and putting liquids in test tubes in a high-tech laboratory. About a 20-second montage. This kitchen is all we got. Angela? I'm on it! Okay, I'll go distract Ben. <laughs> Chump, you better hit the road. This party's invitation only. Your party's over, Jeremy. I'm taking Ben home for our party. The Tom and Ben's anniversary party with a pinata. Sorry, pal. Ben belongs to me now. Tell him, Ben. Uh, Jeremy and Ben Enterprises. I can't believe this. If only someone had cleaned the bathroom. Uh... Tom! And I ain't so different. We both need a guy like Ben to get what we want in this world. There's a big difference. I don't need to control Ben's mind to keep him working with me. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll never know, because I'm moving into your place, and you're moving into mine. <laughs> hey, partner, what do you say we flush him into the sewer? Flush to her kingdom. What? No, Ben, it's me, Tom. Ah, Rose, knock it off! Uh, 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 Angela, now! Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. Woohoo! What just happened? Angela happened. Actually, my aunt's soup recipe happened. It really does cure everything. It's all coming back to me. Jeremy turned me into a zombie. And I rescued you. Because you didn't clean the bathroom. And I rescued you. This was all your fault! <laughs> okay, you're right. I admit it. But now I'm ready to clean this place up. What do you say, partner? Uh-huh. E easy now. 
I was just having a little fun, is all. Me and a little dream had a little fun. Oh, now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Hold still, you germ. Look who's all cleaned up. How you get rid of germs? Too many zombies! I can't hold them off much longer. But how can we cure everybody? I know just the thing. Happy anniversary, Ben. Happy anniversary, Tom. 